This is a 2016 Honda CRV all-wheel drive touring. It has a 2.4 liter engine which produces up to 185 horsepower. The average fuel consumption is 6.9 liters per 100 kilometers of highway driving. The vehicle is in pretty good shape for a 16. There's no major damages. The rims are all in pretty good shape. There was a couple stone chips up along the front end here. We did try to touch up, but the paint pens aren't the best. Uh, the headlights are a little foggy, uh, but with a buff, they could be looking brand new. There is the odd little spot. There's a tiny little dent here, which was touched up. And there is also another little paint chip here. But no major dents. There is a tiny scratch here and a little bit of scuffing along the bumper edge, but really not too much. And we'll take a look at the inside here. It does have keyless entry with the button on the handle there. There is a little bit of wearing here in the leather, but still looks okay. Up here, you've got buttons to save your seat settings for the power driver seat. And you've also got your window controls and side mirror controls here on the door as well, and with a couple pockets for storage. Got the power controls here for the driver's seat. It is a little worn down the leather there, but overall still holding up pretty well. Here you've got your eco mode, lane keep assist, a button for your lift gate, and then you've also got traction control and collision assist settings as well. Get this started here. Up on the steering wheel, you've got controls here to control your music and hands-free calling. You've got some other lane keep options here, uh, cruise control settings, and hands-free calling down here as well. Up top there you can see we're currently sitting at 9.2 liters for fuel average. And on the touchscreen here you do have Honda Link, which does give you Bluetooth capability. You've also got the navigation there, and of course your regular radio. And your rear view camera there with multiple angles. Below that you've got your dual zone climate control. And below that here you do have heated seats in just the front and you've got a 12 volt plug in there. Spacious little center console. These can be taken out easily. Both of them there. Your center console does slide forward for comfort. And inside you've got an HDMI plug-in for the big screen there, two USBs, and another 12-volt plug-in there. And up top you've got your controls for the sunroof, and you've also got this little backseat mirror as well. You just gotta find where it clicks there. And up top you've got your sunroof there. And even with the seat all the way back, there's still a fair bit of room. You've got that nice full coverage rubber mat. There's a couple of vents on the back of the center console. And you've got these big pockets on the backs of the front seats as well. The drop down cup holder here in the middle. And you do have the option. You can bring just the top half down. Or if you pull the little strap here, it bumps the whole seat up and all falls into place, as you can see. Or this little handle here just pulls the headrest down if you're just looking to put those down as well. But really handy for storing. And back here, you do have the power lift gate on the tail or on the key fob, or you just push the button. Back here you've got the full coverage cargo tray, there's a little basket here for storage, and these handles here release the seats to put them down, and you do have this little sunshade as well. Whoops, <laughs> a little hard to do one-handed. Um, but up top here you've also got the button to close the trunk. And if you're interested in going for a test drive, come see us at Huntsville Honda.